My name is Tayo Fasno. I'm a co-founder at Quadron Studios and at Quadron XR. Ah, yeah. uh, Skelebe, how many times would I tell you? Try not to touch anything except for the food in the waste bin. Ask for plenty for this ass. Which can't be done now? For worry, now we the contract the food area. The equivalent of the Babalawi in Chinese mysticism is the Shaolin master. But they have managed to package their art, their mythology in a form that is beautiful to the eye. These are things that we are capable of doing when the art meets the technology. So, 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 so those are the sort of things that we are looking to do. It's sort of cultural domination of the, of the global space. At this beggar at the beginning, they're not really sure. For worry, now this time with a boss, show come up for the mouth. Anything for your boys? Now make a change up for you. Well, Color Studio started out as uh, it is an animation company um, founded about in 2015. Um, we mainly do commercials for advertisements for TV for companies. We also do training videos. We uh, recent, we recently released a short proof of concept called Skelebe. It's about um, this small rat who lives in Ajegule. He comes to visit his cousin in Parkview. So you know, it's about we are trying to make this a visual effects movie, the first in Nigeria. It's going to be a movie you kind of think of Paddington that mixes live action with um, visual effects and an anime character in the live action world. So I think that's what those are the main things in Quadrant Studios. On the VR side, we just started Quadrant XR. That's the other side of the business, the virtual reality side of the business. And then we provide um, solutions, experiential solutions for training and learning in the enterprise and educational spaces. So we take whatever you want to let your people learn, we put it into VR and then we give it to your, to your staff. Hello, love. Hi. Ah, what's, what's wrong? Eh? Are you okay? Whatever I did, I am sorry. It's not you, Joe. First, why Quadrant Studios? Back in 2015, we, we noticed that there was a gap. A gap between what the Nigerian advertising market wanted and what the Nigerian ad animation industry was able to produce. So, so, so as a result of that, advertisers and advertising agencies were, uh, were moving animation work to South Africa. Anything that they wanted to do at a world-class level, they could not execute in Nigeria. So that was why um, Uche and myself, Uche is not here right now, uh, you know, put Quadron Studios together. But we had seen that it was one thing to watch a video. A video could only show you how to do it. A video could not measure whether you had mastered the, the actual practice. And VR, on the other hand, creates an illusion of presence in that when you put on a headset and if you're dealing with a fire containment scenario in a refinery when you put that headset on you are in that refinery you, it sort of tricks your mind to think that you are right there and that whatever you are faced with whatever is coming at you in that environment is actually coming at you so that means so vr is able to directly communicate directly uh, sent to the user the emotional impact of failure. I've been trying to buy some ingredients to make jello for my sister's birthday, but I've had the most frustrating day. First, it began to rain, and then my car fell into a gutter, and then Agboros, while pretending to help me leave the car, took everything that I had. It's definitely a market. It is a slowly growing market, but it is definitely there. Even recently, the, um, another company, Antio, just released a short video called Malaika, which is doing very well. Even Scalable also is was recently won the best of technology at the Real Time Film Festival. So you see all these other countries, France, Germany, Alliance Francais, you see them showing a lot of interest in Nigerian companies and in animation in general. So you, you can see that there is a growth there, and you can see a lot of us in the animation space are self-taught but you still see a lot of people being interested in us because you see it's a very fast-growing industry. 
So I think, yes, there definitely is. And there will always be, every, every generation, every country has kids. And kids love to watch TV. So there is definitely a market there. It's just to find a way to now grow the force, workforce, in such a way that we can have the capacity to create content for the market. Oh, sorry, my darling. Yeah, but you see, I, I kind of have a solution. If, if I tell you, will you make me some jollof? If you don't tell me, you can say goodbye to dinner. Ah, wait now. You see, my solution, eh? And also very much in line with the fact that we are committed to pushing the envelopes on what's possible in the Nigerian space. We realized that the opportunity had finally come, had finally arrived for us to evolve from being an animation studio to a film studio. I'm looking at the containers right now, eh? And it's complete, yes. Eh, so I will have my boys send you the remaining money, yes. That's right, yes. Eh, oh, yeah, yeah. Eh, please, Biko, make out time to check out my guys here at the Equal Lawn Studio. So. They are also completed to do hocus pocus. So, edgy completed magic. Check them out, okay?